Hey guys, it's Cherie and today's video I'm sharing with you a purchase that I made. Now, when I did my Project Pan video, I mentioned that I placed an order with Shop Hush and that that was going to be my last makeup purchase until I'm like, you know, replenishing things that I've completed or unless it was something that was awesome that came out that I just couldn't pass up on, something that I really, really wanted. I told you I wanted to be smarter about my purchases. Well, the two palettes that I originally ordered, I actually ended up canceling the order and ordering something else instead. And let me tell you why. One, value, but two, the excitement was through the roof. Um, so I was on the Shop Hush app and I saw that they came out, or that Bad Habit came out with four palettes that are duping or copying the Huda Beauty palettes, the small ones that she came out with around the holidays. I really liked those palettes, but those palettes are like $29 a piece, and they're very tiny, so I never got one. Um, so I was really excited when Shop Hush came out with one that's similar, one that I could afford, okay, or at least afford without having a guilty conscience, that is. First of all, I want to point out that when you order from Shop Hush, the cute little packaging, Everything is wrapped so securely in bubble wrap and it's like triple wrapped because it's got its own individual wrap and then it comes in a big one, a big bubble wrapping and I really appreciate that. There have been times that I've ordered from Sephora and even Ulta where my things came broken and so far that's never happened with Shop Hush because everything is so securely wrapped. Anyways, let me tell you about these palettes and I will mention in the information section below in this video what the original Huda Beauty palettes are called because I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but I will tell you um, the dupes are all, I looked online, they're, they're all the same colors, different name. But the layout seems to be extremely similar. As with other Bad Habit palettes, the colors are in different positions on the palettes. However, um, they, they do have every color. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm taking all, all this bubble wrap off. The first one here is After Hours, and this one is a really romantic eyeshadow palette. Each of these has nine colors. Um, this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. This is probably the one that I was the most excited to try, and I will insert picture. My kids are taking over the other rooms in the house, so I say it like I have a million kids. I have two children. <laughs> Anyways, they are playing in the other room, so I can't use the room that has the best light. Um, so I will insert pictures of swatches of these palettes, but they are absolutely stunning. And let me see if I remove this plastic cover, you might be able to see a little bit better. But these are the gorgeous colors. There are one, two, three shimmers, and then the rest are matte. And I think that's just absolutely perfect for not only everyday looks, but romantic date night looks. So again, this one is After Hours. This one is so freaking cool. I'm all about bright colors. I always want to buy these palettes that have, you know, colors that you're like, oh my God, what, what am I going to do with this palette? Like it's so bright. Um, and I've always wanted one, but I haven't actually invested in one. The one that I wanted the most was probably the Sephora Pro one. However, I will tell you it is like $68. And from a lot of the videos that I saw, there's a ton of fallout. So I wasn't ready to go there with that purchase. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but each one of these palettes is $10, but if you buy the bundle, you can get all four palettes for 30. So that's what I ended up doing. It's a better value than getting the original two palettes that I thought I was gonna buy. But look at these colors, they're so awesome. This color kind of reminds me of the blues in the blue teal green type colors that are in the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, but all of these others are pretty unique to my collection, so I'm really excited to play with these and to see how I can create awesome looks using them. I actually might play with this a little bit in this video just to test out the quality of the shadows. So far with the Bad Habit palettes, I find that the quality is phenomenal, especially for the price. So I don't have any doubts that it's going to work well on the lids. Um, the next palette, oh, did I say that one was the Aftershock palette? The next one is After Party, and this one is more of the smoky type eye palette, and it's really beautiful. I actually have a palette that's similar to this. I'm trying to think of who the creator was. I want to say that it was something I received in BoxyCharm. I don't remember the um, name of the brand. It's in one of my storage things, but I think that these are great palettes to have. These travel really easily 
Um, you can definitely do a light daytime look, but you can definitely smoke it out for the evening. And this one has one, two, three, four, five shimmer shades, and then the rest are mattes. And this silver, it is blinding. It is so cool. I, ooh, I can't wait to use it. It's a really beautiful palette. So this one was after party. Then last one is after dark. And I actually don't remember what this one looks like, so we'll be looking at this together. <laughs> but I am really excited to test out the formula of these and see if they're just as good as all the others. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. This one is so beautiful. So this one is a very warm palette. It's got the oranges and the browns and this reddish orange color here. Oh, this palette is a dream. So if you're a person that loves the 35-0, the 35-02, um, the, what is that, Urban Decay, the Naked Palette, Naked Heat Palette, you'll like this because it's small and compact, but it kind of has that same color scheme. Um, and I like that there is even a brow bone, so you really don't have to reach into any other palette to create some really great looks with this palette. Um, but this one, I, I think I actually did swatch this one because I can see that I've made a mess of it. <laughs> but, um, anyways, I'm really excited to play with these. This one is definitely one that I would probably lean more to on an everyday basis. Um, really gorgeous, perfect for autumn and for winter, I would say, and definitely really great evening looks. So those are the palettes, and I'm going to pick one to do an eye look. Part of me wants to use this Aftershock because it has all these really great colors in it, but I have brown lipstick on, and I don't know that I really want to do that with this palette. I'll probably do a separate video using this palette since I have on brown I, um, lipstick. So let's see, it's either going to be the After Hours or... Oh, I think I'm going to go with this one, the After Dark. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in and we're going to play in some makeup, okay? We're going to see how these apply and hopefully my light is good enough to where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm going to be playing around with the After Dark palette by Bad Habit. And that is the one that has the browns and the reds and oranges. Um, it's a very warm palette. And so this is what it looks like. It's really quite gorgeous. I've already primed my lids with an Urban Decay primer. And the good thing about these palettes is that they do have a mirror, so I don't have to hold a different mirror in my hand while trying to apply these shadows. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit up my brow bone, and I'm just using one of my Luxie brushes. I'm not sure what number this is, but it is kind of angled. I really like this brush for every aspect of applying makeup to my eyes, whether it be the brow bone or the lids. It just performs really well. It's a very soft brush and it blends out really beautifully, but it fits right in to all the nooks and crannies, so it's a good brush. Okay, so that was a brow bone color, and this color that I just used was Swipe Right. Oh, how cute. Okay, the next one I'm going into is kind of like a nude color, and it's skin to skin, and I'm just gonna use that right underneath the, brown, the brow color that I used. And I'm blending that out. It's a really color. It's a really beautiful color. All right, so the next color that I'm gonna go in with is going to be, oh, I think I wanna mess around with this orange color. Let me show it to you. It's this one here, and the orange color is called Crush On Me. Oh, that's cute. I'm still gonna stick with the same brush. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I barely, barely touched it in the shadow. I did not realize it's gonna pick up so much product. Oh my gosh, okay. So now this is where things are gonna get interesting because I definitely did not mean to pick up that much product on the brush. So I'm gonna have to blend, 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 blend. Wow, that was definitely an accident. That's extremely pigmented. Do you see that that one dip took my entire eye and there's some on this side too? One small tiny dip into the product. Wow, that is so pigmented. Yikes, way more than I bargained for. It totally changes kind of my plan for what I 
wanted to do with this look. Um, I wanted to use more colors, but I don't know if that I'll be able to because I've used now too much of this color. Oh my gosh. Okay, so hmm, I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to take a different blending brush, and I'm going to take a darker color in the crease. I'm going to take this dark brown red color. It's called Merlot, and lightly this time tapping even lighter than last time oh my gosh this is so pigmented good grief oh yikes i got way too much again and i barely touched it golly that is pigmented like easy to make a mess pigmented this palette is gonna last forever <laughs> because you don't even have to use very much Product. I am lightly, lightly touching my eye. I am barely, barely touching it. And while it's definitely pigmented and I didn't have to, you know, press very hard in the shadow to get the color, it is not messy. It's not all over my face. It's definitely staying where I'm putting it. Whereas I find that with a lot of palettes that have this much pigmentation when you barely, barely tap them, they often will get all over the palette or all over your face and I'm not experiencing that so that's a good thing but my gosh I wow it's gonna take some technique and definitely using the right brushes in order to achieve the looks that you want with this particular palette I, I don't know if the other ones are just this just as pigmented as this one but if they are you definitely want to plan ahead and make sure that you're using the right brushes because if not yeah, your plan might change. <laughs> it might have to change as you're using the the palette. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go in with this brown color here. And this color is called Arousal. <clears throat> and I'm going to tap it right here on the bottom half of my lid. Again, super, super pigmented. These shadows are extremely soft too. They're not really powdery and dry. They're very soft. Oh my gosh, so pretty. All right, and so I'm gonna have to get a different brush because I want a clean brush to clean it up um, and blend these colors together. I think that in the future when I use this palette I will definitely apply my eyeshadow before I do my my foundation just to prevent any type of mess that could happen on my face. I'm going to take this shimmery gold shade here and that shade is 24 karat. Okay. So it's not applying very well with the brush so I'm going to go ahead and switch to my finger and that's better. So beautiful. I hope that the camera is picking up how beautiful these colors are on the lid. I mean, I am so impressed with how beautiful these colors are. Goodness gracious. And I keep in mind that I did spend $10 on this palette. 10 Dollars. Okay, that's a very simple look. I got a chance to test out all of those colors. There is one I didn't test, and actually maybe I'll put it on the lower lash line just so that I can see what it looks like. I'm not going anywhere, so if it ends up looking crazy, we're all good. This is an orange color. I'll actually show it to you in just a second. The color is Rosy Glow, and it's kind of a peachy orange. That is pretty. Oh, that is pretty. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this 24 karat and go in the inner corner. Pretty. Okay, I'm gonna zoom back out and talk to you about how I feel.
Guys, these shadows are the bomb. <laughs> First of all, they were super easy to work with. I didn't go ahead and put liner and mascara on because I really just wanted to test out and see how these performed on the eyes and each of the colors performed so beautifully on the lids. They blend out really easily. They're extremely pigmented, so you definitely have to be careful. Um, but I really love the look that I created. It's pretty simple. I used about, let's see, one, two, three. I used four or five of the colors in the palette and out of nine, that's pretty good, I would say. So I can tell you that this particular palette, which is the After Dark palette, is a winner for me. 10 bucks you cannot beat that that is such a great deal and i don't know i think it's a really gorgeous color so there you have it those are the palettes again they have a bundle on shop push right now if you get all four it's 30 dollars. if you just get one it's 10 bucks um it's an affordable alternative to getting the huda beauty palettes and i'm not sure if these actually have more product in them than the actual Huda Beauty ones, but I will say that the packaging is bigger, the pans look bigger, and it has a mirror on each one of them, and I like that a lot. It did seem like her palettes would fit in the palm of your hand. I think these are slightly larger, so um, if that matters to you, um, then there you go. You have that information now, but yeah, so again, I hope you're able to get your hands on these palettes. They're really great. The value is there and the pigment is there. And so I don't think that you can go wrong with giving it a try. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.